In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply mathematical operation on your images. So first, let's open uh, the Nucleus image like uh, the previous session. And we're going to start with uh, just adjusting intensity. All right. So we're going to do something very simple here. We're going to subtract um, an intensity amount of 500. Let's do it. So it's easy. You just go to process math, subtract, and re subtract 500. Okay. Now, as you can see, the image uh, doesn't look like what it looked before. And if we try to adjust, we see that we lost some information. There, there are pixels that are black now that were not black before. If I really push it, you're going to see it. And it's because we subtracted um, so 500 at each pixel. And we have a 16-bit image. So it's, um, it's, it, it's not defined for negative values. So everywhere, um, every, pixel, every pixel for which the intensity was inferior to 500, now it's equal to zero and it's therefore black. So the first thing to do when you do this kind of operation on images is to make sure that you are dealing with a 32-bit image. So let's start with this. Go to image type 32-bit. Okay, so let's adjust the intensity again. All right, now we're going to do the same operation. Process, math, subtract, 500. Okay, so when you, when you apply the operation, you still have the same uh, range of intensity uh, that you had before. So you, 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 what you see is uh, what we had before when we uh, damaged the image. But now we can adjust it and go to negative values. And as you can see, we can visualize the image. So it's the exact same image than before, but we subtracted 500 everywhere. All right. So uh, now let's look at some uh, nonlinear operation. So uh, we're going to apply a log uh, to the image. So it's not something that uh, you usually want to do. But if you are uh, observing um, some phenomenon that you can visualize with intensity, and this phenomenon is uh, exponential, uh, in that particular case, so that's not going to happen very often, but looking at the log scale of the values uh, can help. So now, if I apply the log directly on this image, as I have negative values, I'm going to again damage my image. So let's do it just um, for the sake of the example. So if I go to process, math, log, now, so again, let's change the range of intensity. The thing is that uh, now you have lots of NAN. So if you look at here in the in the in the image J window, you can see the intensity. And if you look at the intensity, it's NAN, which means not a number. It's because we uh, apply a, a log to negative values, and this uh, this is not possible. So uh, therefore, we have none values in the image. So let's open the image again. And uh, we want to put it in, in 32 bits to make sure that uh, we're going to Observe everything. So if we change the intensity, so in this particular image, what's going to happen 
is that we have a very uh, nucleus with a very high intensity which is like an outlier when compared to the others because he has a, an intensity that is much brighter than the others so if we apply the log it should have an intensity that is closer to the other so let's do it process math and log and let's adjust now range of intensity so what you can observe is that uh, uh, now the 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 intensity that you can observe in all nuclei is uh, is more similar that's because in s we, we went from a, a range of intensity that was defined between 100 and, uh, and 4000 to a range of intensity that is between 4 and 8 so we shrink and uh, the, the, the range of intensity that is displayed and it makes all nuclei look alike so uh, if you want to see uh, all the region for which you have um, an object here, a nuclei, might be a good idea. You can see that you know the nuclei with very low intensity now have an intensity that is much closer to the other one. But obviously, if you want to do any uh, quantification based on intensity, uh, now as you changed um, the as so by applying a log you change the range of intensity now the quantification is going to be uh, is going to be wrong except if you again uh, look at uh, any um, exponential phenomenon which won't be the case for this kind of image